Yeah, I think there was um, defense made some huge plays. That's the, the uh, great thing. Fourth quarter, three-point game, and uh, they made a huge stop. We went down there and scored, which was good, and then a few big turnovers. So that was great to see. And, you know, offensively, it was just a, um, you know, we grinded it out and found a way. But obviously, you know, we all wish we could have done some things to, to be more productive. Um, but it was, it was a good team effort. Bruce talks about uh, the importance of consistency. Can you just talk about the way that you guys have consistently now put 30 points up in, in nine straight games? Because that's just it's impressive. Yeah, I think there's the, what I think, and I'm sure the other guys feel the same way, is I think we could do better. I really do. And I, I think we have the opportunity, the, the way that the games are flowing and the opportunities we're getting with the ball, we have even more opportunities. So been a little loose with the ball, um, you know, some penalties at different times that have that have uh, you know knocked us out of some scoring drives. You know some missed throws that I've had, some misreads. Um, certainly wish I had made a few better throws tonight. Um, but again, good to get the win. We're two and zero, oh, and there's a lot to build on. And um, you know, just good to to beat a division opponent. And um, you know, we got to go on the road against a really good team, good team next week. In games like this where there are kind of those periods where there's a little bit of a lull or like you allow them to, to come back and make it a three-point game, uh, Mike had said, you know, he thought you guys need to be better about being engaged. From your vantage point, what can you guys do differently to, to avoid making it that close? Yeah, it's just there's a lot of uh, there's a lot going on out there, especially on days like this or in the year where it's, you know, it's hot and there's, you know, it's you're, everyone's pretty fatigued at different points. So, you know, we just got to find a little more rhythm and, and be a little more mentally tough and, you um, we have a great group of guys. I think everyone's putting the work in. We've actually had two really good weeks of practice, probably better weeks of practice than we've actually had performances on the field. So we know we're leaving some out there. Um, but again, it's good to take advantage when we're doing it. You know, we're, we're getting good opportunities and we're scoring points. And, um, you know, we just have to keep building. So again, we're out to a decent start. But, you know, we know that we can, we can even play better football than we're playing. Tom, Mike Edwards, Edwards we, we hear about. You have to pull it down and run. What goes through your mind? I'm thinking, let's throw it, let's throw it. Oh my God, I can see really well. It's, it's who's open, let's throw it. Oh my God, what am I doing out here? Let me run forward and get on the ground as fast as I can. So I feel like I'm looking part backwards because I feel like people are gaining on me and looking ahead, but um, it doesn't come naturally to me, let me say that. That's not one of my things, it's just, uh, much easier for me to stand in the pocket and throw the ball than it is to scramble for a first down. I wouldn't even call it scramble. Call it whatever, glide to a first down. Tom, your confidence level in Rob, uh, especially in the red zone, uh, his separation, you know, you know, qualities to, to get a step on a guy. And Tom, if he ever drops a ball, you're, you're going to be stunned, right? I know. He's got great hands, great instincts, awareness. Um, I think what people don't realize, he is an elite blocker. And what he does in terms of the red area, third down, blocking in the run game, you run behind him. Every run's available because you can run behind him. Um, catches the ball down the field, catches the ball short, run after catch, incredible hands. And that's why um, he's got one of those maroon jackets for you know, one of the best 100 players in the, in the history of the game. And I, I just a real privilege to play with him. Tom, we talk about Mike Edwards being a ball hawk. You see it in practice, and again, in the fourth quarter here. What does he do that allows him to kind of be in the right place at the right time? I think there's, there's certain people I've been around in my career that just find a way to get the ball in their hands and make plays with it. And um, Mike obviously comes up with a lot of those at the end of the game. And during the game, too. I mean, he's, he just gets good jumps on the quarterback. He's in good positions to make the plays, and then he makes them. You know, it's one thing to be in a position and to have it there. And how many have we seen that, you know, go through the defensive back's hands? Um, but he catches it, and then that was really great to see. Uh, great way to kind of put a stamp in the fourth quarter like that. That was great plays by the defense. What's your area of focus for next week? What's your area of focus for next week that you feel that the team needs to focus on? Obviously, this week the coach said, um, you know, Matt Ryan was somebody that they needed to focus on, get him out of the pocket, or he'll light you up. What do you guys feel is important for next week heading into the away game? They're, they're a good football team we're playing. I think that's going to be a, you know, we got to win all three phases. I, I don't think you can go and say, hey, we're going to play great on defense and average on special teams and average on offense and win or, or vice versa, any of the three. I think we're going to have to play good in all phases, have to play just a, a great, clean football game. Can't give them extra possessions. It's a long trip out there for us. So, you know, we just got to get, put the physical work in and then get on the plane and go try to win a football game. But we're going against a great opponent. Bruce said your confidence is light years ahead of this 
grasp this offense is light years ahead of it was last year. Is that you feel a lot more comfortable? And you know, are you where you want to be heading into Week Three? Yeah, I think we're two and zero. So that's the most important thing for me is we got two wins. Um, I know I could play better. I could make some better throws. I had some more opportunities today to make some throws and uh, you know missed AB a few times. Um, had some other reads I should have done a better job on, um, but you know we'll keep working at it and keep getting in the football shape and and uh, get used to this heat a little bit, and then try to you know we got two games on the road, so try to go on the road and win a tough game. Used to get out in front of the division. Some of your teammates are not. How much easier does that make it during the season when you've got to lead the division and you're not looking up at somebody else? What was the first part? I just said you, you're kind of used to getting out in front of the division yep. uh, in your career. Some of your oh. teammates are not. Yep. It's a long season. You know, it's a marathon for all of us. So it's two games in. There's so much football to be played. We're going to have to play really consistent and smart and tough and dependable. And there's going to be a lot of different situations we're in. And, um, you know, we're going to have to, you know, keep working as hard as we can to come together and make the plays we need to, to, to win.